Let's model a propeller in Blender. First, select the cube and delete it. Add a UV sphere. and change the segments to 36 and the rings to 18 now press 5 for orthographic view and 3 for right side view zoom in Go to edit mode, press A twice to deselect everything, go to face select mode and then box select these faces. Go to select, invert. delete these faces now we're going to shape um, the blade a little bit what we want to extrude that we want to extrude select these vertices as to scale and scale it a little bit in the Z direction go to face select mode select these faces with mouse click and shift left click and then scale it in the y direction and then in the z direction also scale it a little bit and then R to rotate let's say about 15 degrees now we're going to extrude this these faces E to extrude let's say four meters okay now we're going to make some um, edge loop cuts control R and then use the mouse wheel to increase the cuts the number of cuts let's say three cuts click and then right click select this edge loop with alt left click and scale it S to scale it in the Z direction just a little bit and select this other edge loop with alt left click S to scale Z to constrain this, the scale in the Z direction and scale it up a little just like that now we have the basic shape of the blade we're going to rotate these faces a little bit but first 
we need more geometry so select everything with A and then control E and choose subdivide we're going to leave this to 1 number of cuts 1 zoom in a little bit go to face select mode press A twice to de deselect everything C to circle select move the mouse, mouse wheel to uh, make this circle smaller and then select these faces right click and then we're going to rotate this in the normal using the normal transform orientation and using proportional uh, editing mode press R to rotate increase the circle using the mouse wheel and uh, type Z to constrain the rotation to the normal Z direction and increase the circle until you see the the hub is a little bit affected by the rotation and then go back um, decrease the circle the selection circle so that the hub is not affected by the rotation and let's rotate this about let's try 45 degrees minus 45 okay looks good now go out from edit mode and enter the object mode we're going to add an array modifier so go to this wrench click add modifier array modifier um, we don't need relative offset we're going to use object offset and use an empty as an object offset so first let's add the empty make sure the cursor in, is in the center of the scene if not press shift s and choose cursor toward origin and now shift a and add an empty plane axis let's change this transform orientation to global and uh, let's go to the array modifier and choose the empty as an object offset change the count to seven first and then go to the empty select it rotate this in the Z around the Z axis by typing Z and then rotate it at 40 degrees I think then let's change um, the count here in the uh, array modifier to to fill the whole hub to make the the propeller complete nine now 
check merge and first to last so that uh, the blades are merged all the blades are merged into a single object our propeller here is the hub and these are um, the blades of the propeller uh, what we need now is just model the hub so let's go into edit mode by pressing tab but first go out of uh, I, I want to apply the array modifier so we need to first go out exit the edit mode object mode apply the array modifier because we want to model the hub to make it uh, a little bit uh, you know like like a proper hub uh, we need to add more geometry for that so tab enter edit mode zoom in go to edge select mode alt left click E to extrude right click to leave the vertices in place S to scale but I see now uh, we got the proportional editing mode on escape turn this off and then S to scale and we scale this let's say 0 0.5 0 0.5 0 do the same with the other side alt left click extrude right click to leave the vertices in place as to scale shift Z to constrain the scale to the X and Y axis leave the Z unaffected and type 0.5 now we need to bridge these two edge loops so let's select the other edge loop with shift alt click go to edge menu bridge edge loops now the propeller is almost finished if you want you can add a bevel here uh, by selecting these edges alt click shift alt click control B to bevel and type 0 0.05 press tab to exit edit mode right click to shade smooth and if you want you can add a subdivision surface modifier to make this a little bit prettier so we finished thank you